So why is it so difficult for women over 40 to be able to lose weight and indeed manage the weight loss once they've lost it, assuming that you lose it? Well, there are a lot of different reasons for this. Um, we could talk about hormones, we could talk about lifestyle change, we could talk about emotional challenges you've got. But I want to just focus today specifically on a physiological thing that happens to both men and women as we age. Um, so once we get past the age of 30, pretty much, we start to lose something which is called lean body mass, muscle, tissue, the things that move our joints. We begin to have a decline uh, in the amount of uh, lean body tissue that we have. So once you hit 30, it'll drop off. Once you hit 40, it'll drop again. And as the years advance, with each decade, you'll lose more and more lean body mass. Now, what's the impact of losing lean body mass? Well, if you think of it this way, in your 20s, Let's assume you're more like a sports car. You can put some fuel in your vehicle, you press down the accelerator, and the fuel gauge goes down with a certain amount of fuel. Let's say that's five gallons. Now you find yourself in your 40s, 50s, 60s, advancing years. You put the same five gallons of fuel in your tank. You press down on the accelerator, but this time the fuel doesn't really go anywhere. The needle just kind of like quivers a little bit. So you've taken on board the same amount of fuel, but not burning it like you burnt it in your 20s. Now they're in your 40s, 50s, and 60s. So what, what's going on? Well, lean body tissue is directly connected to our resting metabolic rate, the rate at which we can burn calories at rest and when we're active. So one of the challenges that women have past the age of 40, which is a greater challenge than what men have, because men have more lean body tissue than women, is their... Uh, diminishing ability to burn those calories off I at rest and when they're exercising but there is something we can do about this and I'm going to give you a couple of examples in a moment certainly I'll speak about them and show you a few things but just something I want to uh, make clear to you and that is you know if you're living with a partner who happens to be a male and you're both trying to lose weight and they're having greater success than what you are although you're eating similar portion sizes although I suspect you know, if it's a male-female relationship, your portion should be a little bit smaller, I suspect. Um, but men generally will lose weight far easier when you're both following a healthy eating plan, not because men are any better or trying any harder. Uh, it's just that we've got more lean body tissue and it's a little bit easier for us to lose the weight. So as a female, one of the things you can do to help with weight loss in terms of losing it and maintaining it long term is to introduce some form of resistance training into your exercise regime. Now, I know there's a big myth around weight training and one of the things that surrounds it is the fact if I do weight training I'll become big and muscular. And that really doesn't happen. You just haven't you know women just haven't got enough testosterone to get big and muscular. Uh, in fact most men uh, don't have the ability to get massively big and muscular either. You know, the, the guys you or the women you're probably thinking about that are in magazines that look like arguably men, if you chop their heads off because they've got such uh, huge definition, uh, they're probably taking substances that maybe they shouldn't be taking. But for the average sort of person, and that includes me as well, uh, pushing some weight is a great way to go forward. So if you're female, 40, Introducing uh, resistance training is a great way to start to develop more, more lean body tissue. Uh, you have to support that with a good diet as well, you know, making sure you get on board the right amount of protein. But what I wanted to cover today really was just the introduction of resistance training. And that can be done with um, something as simple as this. Look, this is a, a resistance band. Now, if I was to do, let's say, a bicep curl, where I sort of straight my arm and pull back like this, you can see that's working my arm. Well, the body doesn't know the difference between that and this, a dumbbell, you know, curling with a dumbbell. It doesn't know the difference. So resistance training doesn't necessarily mean you have to work with weights. You can work with bands. And one of the advantages of working with a band is they're highly portable. So if you're going on a holiday at somewhere, that takes up minimal space, can be packed in your suitcase, and you can be doing a full body workout routine using a resistance band. So you don't need to take a whole set of <laughs> weights with you, which would probably weigh your car down or it would uh, increase your baggage allowance on a plane. So yeah, that's all I want to cover today was just understanding as a female over the age of 40, one of the reasons why it's more difficult for you to lose weight is just because physiologically, we all lose lean body tissue as we age. 
but you can do something about it. You can start to introduce resistance training into your uh, training week. And I'd be recommending at least three to four sessions. Once you've got to your desired weight range, then you can probably drop that down to probably two. But certainly as you're trying to get there, I'd be aiming to do between three and four sessions a week. So as ever, if you do have any questions, any comments, anything you'd like me to answer, feel free to uh, DM me with your question or your comment. And if it is a question that you'd like me to answer, I'd be happy to do that. Just make that clear in the message. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.